it has become apparent that due to all the information coming out about the People's National Party, it seems like they are more of a team of rivals than a united team. With Mark Golding having had to call for respect for the office of the presidency and having had to form a unity team for the PNP in an effort to heal whole wounds and new wounds as well. With other members of the party stating that insiders are to be blamed for the election loss and with some even going as far as to issue statements that are malicious against the new president. It seems the PNP exists in total disarray from the various personalities that are out to destroy the political organization. Mark Golden has a lot of work to do and it seems like the only way that he is going to reduce the issues within the PNP or at least bring silence to many who continue to speak ill against the party or bring some level of quiet to the factions that continue to come up against each other in the PNP is to ensure that they win the upcoming local government elections in 2022. Mark Golden and his team fails to achieve victory in the local government elections that have been moved to 2022. He will have to at least deliver a very close victory in terms of his number of seats won in the local government election must be very close to that of the Jamaica Labour Party. If he fails to achieve that close or almost victory or victory for the PNP, then there will be another leadership challenge prior to 2023. The evidence is written everywhere. It is clear in the behavior and the statements coming from the various PNP members. It is a team of rivaling factions. The party that was formed many years ago has been divided down the middle between the Rise United team and the One PNP team. Even though they have changed their names and changed their slogans, even though it now exists as Go With Golden and Bring Back The Love, there is no love that exists between the two. Within these two groups and the subgroups that exist within them, there are persons who are diehearted PNP members and there are those who want to abide by the traditional morals, principles and the policies and procedures that were initially incorporated into the party's unit. But there are others who long for change. There are others who want to renovate, re-energize, reform and rebuild the party. There are many who want to take it on a mission of unity like Mark Golden and his team. And then there are others whose intention is to bring back the love. There are others who are still upset because Dr. Peter Phillips had to resign from the party. There are many who are still upset about the presidential challenge which saw Bunting going up against Dr. Peter Phillips in September 2009. And there are many who are convinced that Mark Golden is what is best for the party at this time. And there are some who are even upset that Mark Golden is the one who is leading the party at this very moment. It is, however, only fair to say that only victory can take this political organization on a new path. And it will be extremely difficult for Mark Golden to wrestle power from the Jamaica Labour Party. Whether it is in the upcoming local government elections or in the future, when they need to go up against the Labour Party in an effort to secure a general elections victory five years from now. Issues are so pervasive that many political commentators believe that the People's National Party is at war with itself. As two months after the PNP's massive general elections lost, the political organization still remains divided. And these commentators say that even simple attempts to try to unify these divided groups within the party 
are not going well and are not going according to plan. The groups within the PNP, which includes the National Executive Council, is one that is accusing the newly elected party president, Mark Golden, of trying to influence the unit to rubber stamp his choices for general secretary and that of chairman. We would have expected that the National Executive Council, out of all the groups within the PNP, would have been the one to take Mark Golden under their wings and try to have a discussion about his reasons for his choice of general secretary and that of chairperson of the party. Because these members than anyone else understand the importance of the relationship that must exist between the general secretary and the PNP president and that of the general secretary, the PNP president and the chairperson of the party. Currently as it stands, Dr. Angela Brown Burke, who is the Member of Parliament for Southwest St. Andrew and former Member of Parliament for Northwest St. Anne. Dr. Dayton Campbell are reportedly Mark Golden's choices to fill those two positions. However, it should be noted that Member of Parliament for East Kingston, Philip Paulwell, who was an avid supporter and who publicly endorsed Lisa Hanna's failed challenge for the PNP presidency, has also said that he is interested in becoming the chairperson of this political organization. The commentators believe that unity cannot be achieved by just having talks about it and speaking out in the media about it. It has to follow through with the necessary actions. Therefore, Philip Powell having made a decision at this time that he wants to become chairman is not good for the party. As the current state of the PNP is of significant concerns to onlookers who are external to the party, so it makes you wonder if these senior members who sit in primary positions within the PNP are blind to the issues that continue to pervade the political organizations. One commentator has even said that whilst they are trying to move forward without addressing the fundamental issues that are affecting the party, they will not be able to achieve the goals of the future that they would like to attain. It is quite uncertain if Dr. Dayton Campbell would be an excellent choice for PNP General Secretary as, even though he has the necessary experience, qualifications, and he has done well in ensuring that Mark Golden won the presidency, it only is left to time to see if he were to be placed in the position, how he would take it on, and how much success he would achieve. Same can be said about Dr. Angela Brown Burke. We will only know how she will perform once she's given the opportunity. And I'm sure there will be persons in the party who will be doing their necessary assessments of the general secretary and the chairperson of the party's performance as the days progress. But today is the day. It is now November 29th and the National Executive Council will have their meeting later today and they will come to a decision about whom they see fit to become the General Secretary of the People's National Party and whom they see fit to become the chairperson of the party. Will that be Dr. Angela Brown Burke or will it be Philip Paulwell? Will the new General Secretary be Dr. Dayton Campbell? Will it be Raymond Price or will it be Miss Jennifer Hosen. Well, leave your comments down below. Let me know who you think will be victorious in achieving these two vacant posts in the PNP today. Leave your comments down below. Thanks for watching and goodbye.